All right, grunts, this is Agent Theron Sherman, and today's briefing is on SCP-4564. Let's get down to business. Item number, SCP-4564. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. All recovered copies of SCP-4564 are to be stored within secure storage area B at Site-27. Foundation personnel are to actively search for uncontained copies of SCP-4564 and recover them as soon as possible. Testing of SCP-4564 may be carried out at the discretion of Site Director Francis. Foundation personnel operating out of Site-27 are to monitor New Zealand's emergency services call centers and surveillance networks for signs of individuals affected by SCP-4564-A. Upon the location of these individuals, teams are to intercept and escort the individuals to the sea, where they will be allowed to expel all SCP-4564-A instances from within themselves before being amnesticized. Footage of individuals affected by instances of SCP-4564-A is to be erased, and victims or witnesses unable to be amnesticized are to be discredited. The Parazoology Division are to regularly inspect locations known to contain populations of Anguilla, DF, and Bacchiae in an effort to ascertain the total number of potential SCP-4564-A instances. Description SCP-4564-A is the collective designation for all first-run copies of the video game Fishing Derby, published by Activision for the Atari Video Computer System, or BCS. Released in 1980, the game consisted of players attempting to catch digital fish worth 2, 4, and 6 pounds in order to reach a quota of 99 pounds. All functioning copies of SCP-4564 exclusively affect populations of Anguilla, DF, and Bacchiae, otherwise known as New Zealand and Longfin Eel, that have been trapped up rivers by dams, rendering them unable to reach the sea to breed. The initiation of SCP-4564's anomaly occurs when any instance is played upon an Atari VCS game's console. Anytime a player successfully catches a fish with the value of 6 pounds, a random eel matching the above criteria, henceforth known as SCP-4564-A, will proceed to exit the water in search of the nearest human being. Specimens of SCP-4564-A are able to move across land more efficiently when compared to non-anomalous eels, and will attempt to locate a human before they expire. Upon locating a living human, hereafter referred to as SCP-4564-B, the SCP-4564-A instance will attempt to insert itself into the human's gastrointestinal tract via the anus or mouth. This is typically achieved through rudimentary ambush tactics, rapidly moving up an unaware human's leg and exploiting a more vulnerable orifice. Once within SCP-4564-B's gastrointestinal tract, the SCP-4564-A instance will release a neurotoxic slime, which induces a powerful urge for SCP-4564-B to travel to the sea. This compulsion has been seen to override all other desires and thoughts of SCP-4564-B, typically resulting in their erratically traveling to the nearest coastline by foot. Upon reaching the sea, SCP-4564-B will enter the water, and SCP-4564-A instances will exit the victim's body via the first submerged orifice. Both will proceed to lose all anomalous effects, and the eel or eels will journey to their open sea spawning grounds. Although often distressed, SCP-4564-B have never been harmed, and can be hosted between one and instances of SCP-4564-A at a time. Addendum 4564-1 Following the discovery of SCP-4564, a search for the game's developer, David has been mounted. While the search has thus far proved fruitless, it is now suspected that David was involved with Atari Arcadia, based on findings within C's SCP-4564 instances, shipments, and manufacturing documents. The following letter is one of those documents. Dear David, it's never a happy time when we have to say goodbye. We will all miss you here in Arcadia, but we understand wanting to put down your own roots. We truly hope that you keep that unique touch you have with game design. You'll find a new team to do amazing things over at Activision. You'll always be part of our family should you wish to return. Sigidy Nolan Bushnell, hollow to be my rat. All right, that's it for today, agents. Dismissed.